going on everybody um back for another video uh, we got the catfish back there we're gonna swap out the fuel tank because the 98 um pretty much the first year of these cars came with a steel gas tank and the 9902 came with the plastic it does make a difference there's no advantage whatsoever well one advantage it holds a little bit more gas than the plastic but other than that not too much different but um, I do see one for sale, a plastic gas tank, so I'm going to go pick it up. It's really far away. It's about 70 miles away, so it's a lot of gas to pick up a gas tank. And uh, I'll just include that in my price, so I'll... here I go. As you can see up there, that's a steel gas tank. Maybe you can see, but uh, that's what we're going to change out. So I just arrived to pick up the gas tank. Um, he's about three minutes out. Um, actually, we, we drove a long way to get here. It's not the best deal. kind of is. Better than getting a new one for full price. So uh, pick it up, uh, take a good look at it, and uh, check it out in the shop. So, uh, all right. Well, that was fun. Picked up the gas tank. Uh, now for our hour and 45 minute drive back. But, uh, I don't know, 25 bucks. It's an okay price. Cheaper than buying a brand new one. But, he also had other F-body stuff. Uh, looks like he had the motor, I think he said transmission harness, all the interior. Um, tried to sell me seats, rear hatch. But uh, I really don't have any money to buy it. Um, it says the right or the driver's seat, eh, the right seat, the right seat sitting in the driver's seat. Um, or uh, the driver's seat's all messed up. That's why I didn't buy the interior. But uh, see what gave me the hatch. But it's a red car, not a black car. Plus I don't need it. Um, I wanted to buy the speedometer and all the clusters, but he wanted 40 for it. I only have a 20 in my wallet, and it uh, looked a little bit cracked. Offered him 20, he didn't take it, so I didn't grab it. But uh, we'll be heading back, and uh, we'll get a closer look at the tank when we get back to the base. All right, here's the gas tank. We got got it back to the home base. Uh, pretty dirty. Um, like I said, swapping out for the steel tank in the Camaro. Uh, I did not get a filler neck, so we do have to buy one of those. It looks like this hose is cracked. Maybe I can get another one of those, replace it while it's out. Um, this is the EVAP, I believe. It has a harness with it. This will connect to the body, which is pretty neat. That came with it. Um, some fuel lines. They're cut. I have to replace them. Um, I think I might do AN lines. I think this, let's twist it up. I think that line comes over here. Maybe. Disconnect lines, harness, there's a gasket, no ring, no filler neck, uh, pretty basic. I got this for $25, plus probably 20 bucks to get it here, so I include that in the price, but uh, say 50 bucks for a gas tank with no sender, no straps, no filler neck, I'd say it's fair, about worst piece, I'd probably get the same price on eBay maybe. But big advantage is uh, I'd be able to put my fuel pump right in here, take the old one out. I don't have to screw around with it, no time wasted, and put this one right up in there. And we can clean this one out. It's probably pretty dirty. But uh, 
I'm gonna end it there. That's a little adventure today to pick it up. Didn't film much on the way or the way back, but uh, yeah, just a part I need for the project. So, if you wanna stay with me, we'll get to that car in a little bit. But I think this car's gonna be priority, and uh, that will be secondary if I find time or whole extra uh, money. But uh, yeah, have a good one. Come back sometime and uh, see you.